Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1250. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel Magic Trick 1250, and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, we got a great video here today. We have downloaded some music data, and here's the length 13 minutes, 5 seconds, 10 minutes, 55 seconds. And all we want to do is add this up. If we come down here and use the keyboard for the sum function, Alt equals, I'm simply going to highlight and then hit Enter. 11 minutes, 37 seconds? Well, that's not correct at all. The heart of the matter here is that we need to understand time number formatting. Now, I'm immediately going to click on the source data and use Control-1 to open up the Format Cells dialog box. And sure enough, when we copy and paste it from the internet, custom number formatting is applied. H colon MM, that means hour, minute. So when we see a 13, it actually means hours. And 5, it actually means minutes. Now, there's a little bit more to this, including the fact that our standard formula to add didn't add correctly. Now, before we look at our solutions, let's go down to here and talk about time. If I type 8 colon 0, 0 colon 0, 0, that means 8 hours, no minutes, no seconds. Space and AM, well, it looks like that's 8 AM, but let's do a little trick here. I'm going to say equals that cell right there, Control Enter. And notice it has some custom number formatting. So I'm going to click on the drop down and apply the general formatting, which actually wipes away any number formatting and shows you what actual number is in the cell. And I'm going to use the keyboard Control Shift tilde or grave accent, 0.3333. Yes, when you type 8 AM, Excel actually puts this number in the cell. And what it is, it's, it's the proportion of one 24-hour day. So really, when you type 8 AM, this is what Excel does behind the scene. It takes your 8 and divides by 24 to give you a proportion of one 24-hour day. Similarly, for military time, if I type in 13 colon 0, 0, now I'm going to Control Enter here. It looks like 13, but look up in the formula bar. 1 p.m., that actually means 12 p.m. plus one extra hour, right? But military time is OK. If I say equals that right there, Control-Enter, and then Control-Shift tilde or grave accent to look at what number is actually in the cell, 0.5416666. This is actually what Excel did when I typed 13 military time. It said, hey, I'm dividing that hour or hours in any combination of minutes and seconds by 24. And sure enough, that's the actual number. Now there's a second problem. If I type 13 colon 05, like the first music time up above, when I hit Enter and then try and add another song that's exactly 15 minutes, Alt equals. Now notice Alt equals is trying to incorrectly add everything. So I'm going to redirect the dancing ants. Now, if I add these two, I would expect 2805, I get 405. That's not correct. So we're going to have to contend with the fact that we have decimals, but we're also going to have to contend with the fact that standard time formatting doesn't show any hours past 24 hours. Notice if we do this in our head, 2805, so it's exactly four hours and five minutes past 24 hours. Now, I'm going to Control-1, and we're going to look at custom number formatting here. There's the custom formatting hour, colon, minute, minute. Well, one of the solutions we can do to solve this problem is to use custom time number formatting. You have to use square brackets, hour, hour. And both of those hours, hours contained in square brackets. And immediately, that custom number formatting, those square brackets, force the number formatting to show hours past 24. So we see 28. Now, we're still going to have to deal with the fact that that's actually hours and not minutes like we want. But that will be a step in the right direction. When I click OK, there we go. Now, I just hit pause, and I put the right label here. That's the custom time number formatting to show hours past 24 hours. And we used 
square bracket H8 square bracket colon MM. Now, the second problem we're going to have to deal with is that needs to be minutes, not hours, for some of our formulas. So how do we go from a time typed in, which represents one hour, that one hour needs to be one minute. Well, how many minutes are there in an hour? There's 60, so we simply divide by 60. There we get formatted as a time, 12 and one minute. So that's one minute. But we're also going to need to go from minutes to seconds. So we do the same calculation. Hey, those minutes up there divided by 60. And now we can see this is exactly one second past midnight. So in both cases, we'll have to divide by 60. Now we have all the pieces we need. We know how to convert hours to minutes, minutes to seconds, how to use custom number formatting in some cases to show hours past 24 hours. And we know exactly what a time is in the cell under our time number formatting. So now we can come up here. What? 11 hours, 37 seconds. If we make that same calculation, one way to solve this is to simply add them up, Control Enter, Control 1, and come down to Custom and do square bracket H, and then a square bracket containing both of the H's. And there we go. Now. That is definitely one way to do it. So when you download this, you could just have that formula right there with custom number formatting. But that's still 35 hours there. Now, what number is actually in the cell? Let's just take a look at that. Control-Enter, Control-Shift-Tilde, 1.48. The 1 represents the 24 hours, because that's 35, 37, that's 11 hours, 37 seconds past the 24 hours. So there's the 24. That 0.48 represents the 1137. So now if I really wanted to, to show up as minutes and seconds, watch this. I'm going to say equal sum of all of these. And this would be our formula right below wherever we download this. Divide by 60, Control-Enter. That number format actually came from those cells there. So we Control-1, we come down to Custom, and I'm simply going to put hour, hour, colon, minute, minute, colon, SS for seconds. And immediately that custom number formatting, we can see it's working up there. Click OK. And that one's nice there because we can simply, we'll be able to see whatever hour total there is, plus minutes, plus seconds. And if we had a bunch of times we downloaded that was going to be more than 24 hours, we could use those square brackets. Now, there's still another way we could deal with this. If you wanted to see 35 minutes, 37 seconds, we could Alt equals, add them up, and do an even trickier custom number formatting. Control-1, I'm going to come here. And I suppose I'm going to assume this will be less than 24 hours. So watch this. I'm going to put HH. Minute, minute, now space, and I actually don't need that colon, so I'm going to delete it. And I'm going to put in double quotes, type out minutes, end double quotes. So no way in custom number formatting, if something is contained in double quotes, it shows up. It's actually not in the cells. Those characters are not in the cells, but it will show up on the surface of the spreadsheet as custom number formatting. And if minutes are actually seconds, I'm going to put seconds. Now hopefully I spelled all that right. And it looks like I did, and click OK. So now I could see that's not correct, Control-1. What I really want is square brackets, because we do have hours past 24, and click OK. So there is yet another way to do it with custom number formatting. Now, if you actually wanted the number 35 and the number 37, we could do it this way. We could just say sum and add them all up. Control-Enter, Control-Shift-Tilde, because this is where knowing what number is in the cell is so important. How do I get this up to hours? Well, what did Excel do? Excel divided by 24, so we're simply going to multiply by 24 to get back up to hours. Control-Enter, Control-Shift-Tilde. You know, every time I enter that, it's sucking that number formatting. But there we can see 
We have the 35. All I want is the 35. So now I use the integer, int function. It always takes the int going down, so it'll take just the 35, close parentheses, control enter, and there's our 35. Now we could do a similar calculation. Notice I cheated there, control C in edit mode. Now equals that, right? That's going to give us the 35.61. And what I really want is the decimal and then multiply that times 60 to give me the minutes. Well, let me ask you a question here. What's 35.61 divided by 1? Well, it's 35 with a remainder of 6.61666, et cetera. Well, we can use the mod function to get at that remainder. I'm going to hit F2. The mod function simply takes a number, which is the denominator. We give it the divisor, comma, the divisor, or the denominator of 1. And sure enough, mod will deliver that remainder, 0.61666. Now we can simply F2, multiply that times 60. And when I Control Enter, Control Shift tilde, we get our 37 minutes. So we saw a few different solutions. We had some times for music that we downloaded. We checked it out and saw that there was a custom time format. We saw three different solutions using custom number formatting to get out the minutes and seconds. We also saw some formulas to get out exactly 35 minutes or exactly 37 seconds. All right, we'll see you next video.